Mesh Mixer has many tools that will help you 3D print your objects you create. Here is a capture from 123D Catch that someone created with their iPhone and shared with the community at 123dapp.com. It is a capture of a bust of Walt Disney taken at Disneyland. Now this capture can use some cleanup and healing before sending it to the print bed. First, I'll use my selection tool to select and delete any unwanted faces. I'm using the laser select to highlight everything on one side of the line I draw and then I can click delete. Now I can recenter my view on the Disney bust. To 3D print this, I'll need to close up some holes I see here on the top and bottom. To do this, I can use a handy tool in the analysis bucket called Inspector. When I click Inspector, I get these pins that indicate issues with my mesh. The blue pins are showing the holes. I can click each pin one by one to fix the holes, or I can simply click Auto Repair All. Now my mesh holes are filled in. I'll use the Plane Cut tool from the edit bucket to make a flat bottom for this object to rest on the print bed. Clicking plane cut, I see that I have a manipulator to define the plane cutting position and direction. I can rotate it 90 degrees around the z-axis so the cut is parallel with how I want my object to sit when it is printed. Then I can move it downwards in the world y direction with the green arrow, then click accept. Looking underneath, you can see that the plane cut is filled with a flat surface. Okay, now this object is cleaned up and what we call watertight. In other words, it is a solid object with no holes or mesh problems.